The Nobel Prize for Literature is one of the world's most prestigious cultural honours, handed out every year by the Swedish Academy. But sexual misconduct allegations and information leaks have stained its reputation in past weeks. On Friday, the Academy announced that it would take a year off. We have decided not to award a prize this year, and we did that after long and intense discussions. But we reached the conclusion that the confidence in the Academy is so low in the world at the moment, and that is the deciding reason why we now refrain from awarding the prize. The Swedish Academy also announced plans to award two prizes in 2019. The Council has been dealing with claims of sexual misconduct by the husband of one of its members. The allegations were inspired by the Me Too movement that became a global outcry after Hollywood's sexual harassment scandal. Last week, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences expelled actor Bill Cosby and director Roman Polanski, who have both been convicted of sexual assault. For more on this, I'm joined by author Peter Frederick Jensen. He's here for the Istanbul Literature Festival. Peter, what's been the reaction in literary circles to the cancellation of the Nobel Prize for Literature? Well, I think the, the discussion in, in Denmark or Sweden has been for a long time concerning the, a lot of the mistakes that the Academy kind of have been doing to themselves all the time. And I think a lot of people is looking at it as a little ridiculous and stupid and non-professional and very, not very, I mean, it's not very, uh, it's like they're trying to kill themselves in some way. And uh, so I think that's one reaction. The other one is that everybody is talking about how much it has to do with the Me Too, how much it has to do with maybe, uh, you know, a lot of power discussions and things we don't know anything about. We have to understand that the Academy is both the prize, the Nobel Prize, but at the same time, locally in Sweden, it is a very important factor in, in the cultural business, kind of. Those people are the ones who's like giving out, handing out money for a lot of institutions, a lot of artists, a lot of writers. So the one discussion about the Nobel Prize that's international and global, the other one has a lot to do with Sweden. I would say. And Sweden and Denmark, where you're from, are both often praised for being very forward thinking when it comes to gender equality. Mm -hmm. What impact do you think this scandal will have on impressions there? It will have a, an impact on the discussion. Uh, I mean, part of it has to do with, with the, the Nobel Academy being a kind of a conservative construction that is still there in a very liberal frame. I mean, in Scandinavian countries, in Denmark, especially in Sweden, uh, there is a tradition for like feminism and, uh, and uh, very liberal discussions about power. So I think uh, as it is right now, they have to react on that and kind of change the way it's going on until now, until this point, I think. Um, nobody really knows what will happen. It is an old fashioned construction. It is linked to the royal, uh, to the king of Sweden actually. Um, I don't know. I think it's all right that it, it, they have to force themselves into a, another way of, of thinking, another way of, of acting. And what can the Academy do to rebuild from here? Well, they can start on uh, maybe acting a little more, maybe I would say professional, but just like instead of, they're kind of continuously doing a lot of very strange things for themselves. I mean, instead of like reacting on it before it became a scandal, um, so now I think there's just been so many mistakes that they have to stop up now and then like turn a little back and get the, the Secretary Sidenius back maybe, that's a, somebody's talking about that. She was the one that, that um, was the Secretary a few months ago. So that could be a good thing to do I think, instead of like getting back to the old fashioned ways, let's, let's have some new faces in and, and change, change the whole construction. I mean. You can't leave the academy. Your chair will just be empty. So that's one of the things. It's, 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 a, it's too old fashioned in some way. And on a brighter note, what's your experience like so far at the Istanbul Literature Festival? It's very good. I like to be here. I like, um, I like the, the possibility to, to go to Istanbul and, and join the festival. And uh, I'm very glad for the invitation and of course to be translated from a very small language, six million people to this very big language, so I'm very, I'm joyful.
Brilliant. Yeah. Thanks so much, Peter, for joining us. Thank you.